What's going on game math math red show here thanks for clicking on that button today we are back in maple lake minnesota at the annual gearhead get together an amazing show shut down a big section of the entire town and just fill it with all types of cars anything goes at this show which makes it really fun you never know what you're going to see at the show but i've been uh, walking around the show all morning long and you know like i do and uh I i'd have to film the show for like a couple weeks to get it all so I tried to film as much as I could for you guys. You're gonna see some really fun cars in this episode. Nice little town, awesome show. So uh, thanks for clicking on that button, guys. Without further ado, let's get in there. Let's see these cars. Let's do this. All right, gang, here we go. Second year at the Gearhead Get Together. Look at this. Right off the bat, for sale, 1956 Ford Ranch Wagon. Nice. I'm only asking 15.5. Nice. I like it. How about that? Shoot, that'll sell, I would think. I'm gonna head this way though, so I don't have to film into the sun. Hey, here's a nice little gremlin. Looks like we got a charger coming by here. Yeah, buddy. I've seen this rat rod before. It's a fun rat rod. Charmer Hardware. <laughs> Look at this old Ford Ranchero here. Not sure the year on it, maybe a 50, late 50s. It's gotta be a 59, I think. <laughs> Rancheros were such fun vehicles. Look at this thing. It's got like the old Ford Fairlane Galaxy afterburner. Rear lights and look at this. Yeah. Such a cool dashboard. Love it. Man, it's gonna be a fun show. This is gonna be a fun show. It's a fun show to come to because there's there's no awards. It's just everybody come, show off what you got. It's all good. <laughs> it's just a massive just a massive celebration of like just everything with an engine in it. It's good stuff. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Ruskies one. So it's a nice little 31 Ford. 
Nice. <laughs> A little windy today, not too bad. It's pretty cool this morning. It's gonna be warmer this afternoon. As if anybody cares, it's all the same to you watching at home. <laughs> it's a nice 57. Looking 63 Impala here. <clears throat> yeah, this thing is nice. I heard that the second radio antenna on some of these is just for looks. Is that true? That's what I've heard. Chevy truck next to it here. Nice wood in the bed. Yeah, nice interior. Yeah, just some settings. That's what I figured. We have to have some kind of. We could look at Yeah, and it's for sale in there. Look at this cool old Ford here. The spokes and the tires and everything. It's like a Uga horn to me. Look at these here. <laughs> That's cool. It's a 1930 Ford. Yeah, it started out as a 1929 four-door leatherback, and so the whole, the original roof was nothing but wood, chicken wire, and vinyl. So I had to build the roof from scratch, and that's part of the reason why I had the raised section in the middle, because I didn't think I would be able to do a whole flat expanse and, and, and get it really straight. Um, this was... Uh, my pandemic project, uh, the timing was perfect. I bought the car in February of 2020, and it took me a month and a half to get things cleared with the DMV. I got the license plates in my mailbox the day before the lockdown, and that's when I started working on it. And so that's all I did for two years, was work on that car. <laughs> awesome, what's it got in it? Uh, it's a uh, 1954 331 Hemi, that's been bored out to uh, 365 and uh, old school Enderly fuel injection that's been converted to electronic by the guy who built the motor. Um, and uh, I obviously I converted a four door to a two door. I widened the front doors by six inches by taking them, the middle section out of the back doors and then uh, took three inches off the bottom of the doors so I could run the side pipes. Um, and uh, built a custom chassis uh, and uh, had issues with the engine that kept it off the road for a year after I basically was finished but uh, got it on the road for the first time in June and uh, right on. having a lot of fun. I'll bet. Looks like a fun car man. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for sharing it. You bet. <laughs> Hot rod. Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. I was going to say, where, where did you get some parts from? It's probably better off just buying it all running. Yeah, this was an old school Yeah. Well, that's what he added when he was having trouble with it. Oh, yeah. You can see back there, you can see all the 
see the differential back there and everything. My car is the thumbnail for their video. Oh, nice. But I looked through the video and my car is not on the other one. <laughs> but it's the thumbnail on it. Okay, see, you see that? That thing shuttered up. Yep. I see like that old individual. It's got that, that yellow one's been hanging on the wall. Yeah. Since I was still Okay. <laughs> then we went to the gas station and gas was on the huge bug for the jump the door with the incredible bombs. I knew they made a lot of great great idea. Yeah. If they sit on their log, it's a damn insane. You get uh you get a little bit of everything at this show. It's kinda of fun. I think that's an old 80 something Fiero. Yeah, it says right there, 84, 84 Fiero. Nice cougar, look at this. I feel like I might have seen this car before. It's feeling familiar to me. A little 65 VW here. Dune buggy. '68 Chevy Camaro. Look at this. Three to three stroker. Yeah, three to three stroker. 1959 Morris. <laughs> uh oh, their car just flew away. Told you it's a little windy today. <laughs> Go ahead and grab this for him. This is cool, man. Yeah, buddy. This would be such a fun car to drive around. It's a little Morris with a 383 in it. It'd scoop pretty good. The paint job on this thing is pretty good too. Look at this. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Sold 70 Dodge here. Gotta get on the other side of the sun here. It's GTO. Here we go.
go. There's the GTO. It's official. It's a car show. There's this one. It's kind of a cool Chevy Nova there. You don't see too many of those. Back to this 1950 Mercury. It's dropped and chopped, and he's got it on bags. And it, this thing's awesome. Filmed it a few times. I can't. Usually, I can't not film this car when I see it, though. Look at this window. <laughs> I love this car. So nice. Here's a uh, 41 Chevy panel. Cool man. That is a cool panel. A little Studebaker cruising by there. Studebaker Hot Grand Turismo, I think. <laughs> Look at this 55 here. It's got like a army green and black on it or something. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of ratted out a bit. I love it. Oh, look at that gear shifter. This is pretty. This is pretty awesome. Keep 
cruising by here. The Chevy, nice Ford here. So fun, you just get a little bit of everything at the show. This whole tractor over here. Here's a 41 Chevy, it's for sale too. You can read the information there. There you have it. I hear that train coming. Coming around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when. There it is. Canadian Pacific. Railway. Railroad. Look at this Impala sitting here in the sunshine. Man. stillness. Looks like we got a nice Impala here. We got 58. I don't uh, purposefully walk around looking for Impalas, but there's there are a lot of them, so they they end up getting in my show quite a bit. Look at that shot. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, this is nice.
right next to a nice Ford here. I love the flames on this. Look at that. Yes, <laughs> this is a cool little Ford. You can see that, but the pin, kind of the uh, pinstriping around. I don't know if that's technically pinstriping, but you know they're they're going around the flames. It, it's red, and then it goes into blue. It's awesome, man. This is cool. That is a cool old hot rod right there. Striping in the dash, the red and the black that looks really nice. Old Plymouth here, special deluxe. There's another uh, Mercury Cougar here. This is a uh, 69, and here's a 67 Cougar. Might be some Cougar, Cougar fans parking in this area over here. 67. Look at that. Corvette over here. There's a 57. <laughs> Look at this old Buick here, man. This is awesome. Old two door Buick, man. This is pretty sweet looking. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Buick 8. Remember seeing this old Ford drive past me at uh, Street Machine Nationals. <laughs> I didn't get to take a better look at it after that though, so this is, this is fun. Pretty cool fabrication work here. It's 
spider web. The witch doctor there. Some pretty fun metal work going on in this. I like it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, good times. Fun truck. This old GMC here. This is a cool truck, man. Cruise right into the sun here for a bit. Look at this here. A little javelin. This is a uh, 1968. <laughs> Here's another Impala <laughs> Super Sport. Shoot, I'm trying to think of the car that's in the, the TV show Supernatural. Is that a, a Chevy Impala? It's, I've only seen that show a couple times, but I remember they had a really cool car in it. It was some sort of Chevy. It was either a Chevelle, a Malibu, or an Impala. And sometime around this year, I think, late 60s. This is a nice Impala. <laughs> the paint job's like a charcoal gray. It's got a flake in it. It's got the top on it here. Camera's having a hard time focusing today. Check this bad boy out. It's all lifted. This thing's huge. Not quite as big as this little British car though. <laughs> little MG here. Sixty-two forward Fairlane there. A little info before I show you the truck. Fifty-one GMC panel truck. Looks like works truck. City of Sherburn. My ninety. Auctioned off. Yeah, I think that's 
It's a 69 Corvette Stingray. 427. She, she's for sale too. Nice old GMC truck. Look at this. This is a uh, 56 GMC truck. And that is a new Camaro driving by. <laughs> Three sixty view in this thing, man. Look at that. That's awesome. Now one of the main streets here now. A lot of nice cars in this street. This show is so massive. I ain't gonna be able to film at all, but I'll film a lot. Look at that, the show. Show goes all the way down this street, all the way down this street. There's a big old park that's full of cars. It's just, it's an awesome show. It's a good time. You can just walk around an entire town. The entire town is just filled with cars. <laughs> it's really awesome. These trucks. Oh, look at this old power wagon. Rambler. Nineteen sixty Rambler. I don't know if you saw the smoke in that last shot of the town, but so if you're wondering if the barbecue smells good, it does. <laughs> it smells really good. Almost as good as this car looks. Taillights in this. Pretty small. What if that's stock? That's interesting. It's pretty small. I guess I've never really noticed. This is a uh, 1950 Chevy. I wonder if they're a Packers fan or if they just like these colors. It looks sharp. I like it. Like a metal green, green flake in it. This is awesome. Oh, look at the bench seat. Yeah, I love the bench seat. Oh, I love this car. Old chopped 50 Chevy. Look at that. Thing looks nice sitting there, doesn't it? This makes the world seem okay. <laughs> There you are. This old Cadillac here. Nice. 58 Cadillac.
Here's a 1910 Buick. I've seen him uh, drive this around before. It's got the crank start. It sounds pretty cool. It sounds very tingy, if that makes sense. It's cool. Old 1910 Buick. Over a hundred years old. 113 years old. Look at this here. It's got a for sale sign in the trunk, but no info on it, so maybe they sold it. Or maybe they're planning on it. It's an old Dodge. An old Dodge Coronet. They're only selling it for eight nine. Eight thousand nine hundred. There you go. Looks like a, you know, needs a little work. Straight six in there. Interior looks okay. They got a cover on the front seat there. That all looks pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad. Eight thousand nine hundred bucks. I get a Dodge Coronet. Obviously, it must run. I don't know how it runs, but they drove it here. So look at this. It's nice. Pretty cool. That's cool, man. It's a four-door automatic, so of course that, you know, it's not any kind of a hot rod car, especially with a straight six for a power plant, but you know, it's still pretty darn cool for the right buyer. I don't know why I'm trying to sell this car. I don't even know who's selling it. <laughs> I just, I just uh, yeah, I don't know. I love these old cars. I just wanna, I want them all to have a good home and to be taken care of. This 55 here, gasser. There's a 1923 gray. Twenty-three gray. I knew it had to be pretty rare because I've never seen one. <laughs> Homecoming, 1948. First prize. <laughs> you know a car's a classic when it was a classic back in 1950s. <laughs> It was already a classic back then. Yeah, getting the fire ready. Smelling good. Well, that's gonna smell good. They start throwing some stuff on there. Bearings of a five-year-old child. Some cool stuff about it here. Save a third of the gas. Trying to save gas even back then. I'm not going to read this all for you, but pause it and read it if you want to. <laughs> there you go. This is a cool old car, man. Cars everywhere. Nice firebird there. Look at that. 
This is a good looking 48 Buick Roadmaster. It looks like it's chopped and dropped here. Three Buick here. Back to this 33 Buick here. Look at this. Look at this little thing here. I think it's a footstep. You step, you use that, you, know, you step right there. I believe this opens up into a rumble seat back here. So you probably use that just to step on that, huh? That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what that's for. That's cool. A little luggage rack that folds out back here. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's one of my favorite custom builds that I see. I see it at quite a few shows. It's a 51 Chevy. A lot of custom work. This gorgeous car. Check out this ice cream truck. <laughs> Looks like the mystery machine. It's all painted like the mystery machine. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some rice cream, Raggy. <laughs> this old Ford pickup here. You know, what you guys want to 
What's this little thing here? Nice rat rod here. Got a Buick engine in it. Thumbs up to this car. It's <laughs> parked right next to a Marlin. 1965 Marlin. Do not see these very often. I've, I don't know if it's this same one that I've seen, but I've seen this. Maybe this is that car one other time at Mopars in the park. Which uh, technically, I don't think this is a Mopar, but it's AMC. But I don't think AMC. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the history of these Marlins, I think AMC acquired them, but I'm not sure. I don't know how that all went down. But yeah, cool car anyway. 65, either just a 65 Marlin or an AMC Marlin. Look at, look at that, the windows. <laughs> this is such a unique car. It was for sale, I think, at uh, the Mopars in the park, so maybe it's got a new owner here. I'm glad to see it's still being put out there, if this is that same car. It's the same color anyway that I saw. <laughs> so cool. Well, that's a 66 on the license plate there. I thought it was a 65, but I guess I'm wrong. You got that Cobra fired up behind this Mustang here. Sixty-five Cobra replica. Pretty nice. Yeah. Looking hot rod right here. Yeah. Old tea bucket. Yeah. It's a uh, nineteen twenty three tea bucket. And this is such a fun show. I love this show. All right. Cruising up the street here. Got a couple of clown cars. I think I remember these from last year. <laughs> it's got the little top spinning on it this year. Couple of clown cars, I believe, built on the uh, golf cart chassis. <laughs> that one, I'm not sure. That one looks like a little Morris or a Mini. Mini Miner. All right, we've cruised down the street a little ways. Like I said, this show is just all over the all over the town here. So, 
cruising around here. It's a nice stingray. It's a nice road runner there. This is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. That's cool, look at this. I don't see as many of the 1970 models of Roadrunners as I do. 68, 69, and even early 70s. But the 70, I just don't see too many of them. I don't know why. All right, looks like a uh, Ford, Ford Sprint, uh, Ford Falcon then, Ford Falcon, beauty. Look at this truck here. I saw this at one other show that I've been at this summer. It's an old uh, international truck. What do you think of that, I was trying to think of the right word. I just just the, the paint job, I guess, just the way he kind of gently inlaid the inlaid the pattern there with a little bit of gold paint and it's just a fun truck it's got the wood top on it Yeah. Caprice classic there, little Chevy Caprice. Nice. It's an old Charger here. It's kind of fun to see these old beat up Chargers. There's something about a beat up Charger that's still pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. It's a nice Trans Am here, Bandit style. Every time I see one of these things, I just, it's like a, goes off in the back of my head. I just hear Burt Reynolds laughing, <laughs> you know, his laugh. I just hear it every time. I always think of my dad, too, because my dad basically <laughs> was Burt Reynolds in the 80s. <laughs> if you want to know what my dad was like, it was basically Burt Reynolds. That was him. He kind of looked the same, too, back in the 80s, anyway. The 
looks like we got Smokey here too. We got Smokey coming down the road here. Look out, bandit. Look at this thing, holy cow. Another whole massive parking lot of cars over here. Just everywhere. Everywhere you look. This Mustang. 68. 28. Four speed. <laughs> this would be a fun car. Look at this old Ford here. Right behind it's an old tornado. It's in beat up shape, but you don't see tornadoes very often, so what the heck. Nineteen seventy four Oldsmobile Tornado. Ah look, there goes the old Duke boys. Back to this uh, 74 Olds Tornado. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Chevy El Camino. 
Get this old caddy here. Get back to check out the fins on this thing. Oh, you're fine. You're good. No worries. You can tell this car gets used. Drive it around a bit, it looks like. And that's it's awesome. I love that. <laughs> looks like a fun Cadillac, man. Nineteen twenty nine Ford Tudor. Looks like they've nicknamed it Henry. I know, but it's cheap. What do I see in the rearview mirror there? Take a look at that. <laughs> well, DeSoto back here, convertible. I honestly, was not planning on it. I didn't have any look back in this corner. I saw it in the rear view. <laughs> it's funny. This old DeSotos. So cool. I wonder if this one has a record player in it. Sometimes they do. Doesn't look like it. Look at this. Look at that back end. Three tail lights on both sides. 1956 Dodge DeSoto. Adventurer. Take this thing on some adventures for sure. Take me a year. I think I'm having heat stroke here, guys. I just called the Chevella Oldsmobile a couple times. <laughs> Let's talk to the owner. <laughs> it's getting hot out here. I need some water. This is a beautiful car, though. I think I filmed this before, he said. Yeah, good looking Chevelle. Whew, it's getting hot out, though. I think I got a heat warning out here today. My brain saw the Chevy sign and the Chevelle, and I said Oldsmobile. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting, oh boy, I'm getting loopy out here. Yeah, here's another Marlin. Look at this. Rambler. Marlin. Look at that. This is a Rambler. AMC Rambler. Marlin. It's for sale here. Let's go look at some of the info. 1965 Rambler Marlin. Longer. I don't know that I've ever seen two Marlins at the same show. Right next to a nice Super Sport 396. I think I'm going to head over to the park over there. I think there's more trees and stuff. 
There's a whole park of cars I haven't gotten to yet. That's yeah, a good looking Chevelle there though, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much right there. Look at this Pontiac here. I think it's a Chieftain? Not sure. I'll drop down. I don't think it's a Chieftain. It says Pontiac Silver Streak on the side. I don't know the Pontiacs very well as far as the types of them for around this year. But I do appreciate them. That. Awesome. Look at this Oldsmobile here, Oldsmobile Cutlass. I do believe it's a 1970. There's two very different Fords right there for you. <laughs> Which one are you taking? Which one are you taking home? This is 60 Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, everybody's over here. I don't know if they were waiting on us or. Yeah, no, they were kind of to get the pro. And then even had it sent out to the Cadillac. Never going to do that again. Well, just to put all the trim and do everything, but but he kind of screwed them over a little bit to the price. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're just gonna cruise by a few cars here. I want to try to fill as much of the show as I can. There's just so many cars I can't really stop by. Get detailed shots of every car I wish I could. It would take me a year to do it at this show. All right, we traveled over to the park here. I'm right behind home plate. Just an entire park filled with cars. Look at this here, man. Old Chevy wagon. Pretty cool wagon. Look at this old Studebaker here. Studebaker truck. Trans 
Star Deluxe. There's an old Dodge sitting on about uh, shortstop area of the baseball field here. <laughs> Nice Corvette, 427, side pipes on it. This is nice. Look at that. <laughs> this thing is awesome, dude. This thing looks awesome. Studebaker with a Ford racing engine in it. Studebaker wagon. Something about a, a wagon that's been all hot rodded out that uh, that I just love. I don't know why. I'm always attracted to the wagons. I just I find myself coming over to him every time I see one. Here's a 56 Oldsmobile. Look at this old Peterbilt here, man. There's actually a few of these truck shows. It's just all nothing but Mac, big old Mac trucks, Peterbilt trucks, old semi trucks. It'd be kind of fun to get to one of those at some point. My problem, I kind of checked the first time she was in by an instructor or whatever, and uh, she said to me, she's like, it's obvious that you've been driving for a while. I don't need to know your story, whatever, but I can tell you, you got a lot of bad habits. Yeah, that I couldn't do it right. It's <laughs> quite the free driving attempt. Yeah, finally the fifty-five Chevy panel. Yep. Yeah, make a few videos. <laughs> Here's a 1940 Pontiac. Special six. Well, I think I take a right. Take care. See ya. 
Incredible Buick here. That is a nice old Buick right there. Looks brand new. The Chevy's for sale here. International Scout here. It's a uh, 1967. Man, just cars. Cars, cars. Everywhere you look. This is a big show. A couple old old girls here, 1928 Model A. See what we got over here. 1915 Ford Model T. Four banger. I ended up on the receipts of mine. I stopped at fifty five Back at the 28 Model A here again. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Well, I Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Volkswagen girl here. Convertible. Look what's behind over here. Look at this boat. <laughs> Little custom dinghy back here. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying <laughs> to see that cruising past you. There you go. <laughs> Twenty five horse on this thing, man. Here's a GTO.
is a uh, 62 Chevy Biscayne. Nineteen fifty nine Ford Thunderbird. This is the car on the shirt for this year. Gearhead get together. Here's the car. <laughs> this is the car on the t-shirt this year. I was just talking to the owner. He said he used to belong to his brother and his brother just passed away this year, so. It's pretty, meaning, it's pretty meaningful that he can have it here this year again and be on the cover of the t-shirt. Pretty awesome. Ooh, we got a gas earlier. Here. Pretty cool car, pretty meaningful build for his brother. Fifty six for Thunderbird.
It's a nice uh, Fort Fairlane here. Look at this. Yeah. Well, especially when you're this is a uh, 57. Here's something pretty cool. Owner just flagged me down and told me a bit about his car here. It's a 66 Mercury. Apparently they only made about 2,900 of these, he was saying. He's the second owner. And most everything on this car is original. Yeah, if you, oh. <laughs> what a cool car, man. Very cool. Look at that. All original. Those are his parking passes in the windshield. Of the original owner, those are his parking passes? Those are his parking passes from the Oh, he wor you said he worked Cessna. for Cessna. He worked for Cessna. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Little patina on her there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like That's say, great. I'm the caretaker. Oh, yeah. What a great time machine, man. Look at that. <laughs> and it's got, not that you're, it's got a 66 Kansas plate on the front, and my collector plate says 66 S55. Okay, it's the original owner there. <laughs> Very cool, man. Really good. You bet, yeah. It's nice to have somebody look at it once in a while. Absolutely. What we got yeah, well, I'm about out of gas here myself. It's about time for me to head out of here. I wish I could film more of the show for you guys. It's a massive show. That's about all the energy I got, man. So, uh, awesome show this year. I filmed as much as I could. There's just too many cars to film them all. Great show. Really fun time I had today. Good times, Maple Leaf. Good times. Alrighty, gang. Well, as I say, I'm pooped. I am all tuckered out. My gas tank is empty. So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching this episode. Please give it a like, a thumbs up if you like the episode. Give it that thumbs up for me. It helps other people find the video. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. So uh, Maple Lake, awesome show. Get your head to get together. Good time, 2023. So had a great time this day. So I need water. I'm, uh, I'm starting to lose my mind. I'm saying weird things on all. <laughs> so we'll check you later, guys. Appreciate you watching. We'll travel on down the road. Okay, bye.